Yo, welcome back to the checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And we're back once again with another video, and this time a topic video. And this topic comes from being on Twitter and seeing all the NBA news that's been going around. And I saw a lot of Zion Williamson, a lot of New Orleans Pelicans, and I was like, you know what? Let's talk about it. So Zion and the Pelicans are back in the news column again in the NBA world. And let's just start off with Zion's injury to his foot. Now, he broke his foot in the offseason, and nobody knew besides him, obviously, and the Pelicans and his family. That was it. But, you know, nobody knew. And not only that, he's not even going to be back yet. He's supposed to be out for another two weeks plus. Who knows how long? Because he isn't even, he isn't even in game shape yet. So, it might be a month. Who knows before we see Zion Williamson out on that floor for the pelicans but this leads me into my next point and i think this is the most important part of the whole thing zion's weight is getting bad like there was a report yesterday saying that he is now potentially over 300 pounds and i just saw a recent tweet saying or not tweet instagram post saying that he weighs 318 Bro, and then you see the picture from him, rookie year, media day, to now. He looks really fat, bro. Like, he doesn't even look the same at all. And, you know, it just reminds me of when when the pandemic hit and then they came back with the bubble. He looked overweight going into the bubble as well. He didn't look in game shape that time either after the long break they had. So I'm like, yo, this man, every time they have a break, this man puts on mad weight. And, you know, I just don't think it's a smart thing for him to do. But, you know, it's whatever. Uh, I don't really like that he's over 315 pounds, potentially. And I don't think that's a good thing if you're a Pelicans fan or if you're a part of the Pelicans organization because you want him to be as healthy as possible because it gives you the best shot to win. And then you just look, and you look if you're the Pelicans, it's not only Zion's health or his weight that is a problem, but now the uncertainty of their future, more specifically with their top two stars, is like, we don't know what's going to happen. Everything looked really good two years ago when they acquired, or not two, three years ago when they acquired Lonzo Ball, they acquired Brandon Ingram, and then they obviously drafted Zion Williamson in the first with the first pick in the draft in 2019 you know things were looking good but now here we are no Lonzo Ball he has left he left in free agency to Chicago Brandon Ingram we never hear from who knows what he's thinking and Zion already is a candidate to request a trade in the next few years and he's barely been in the organization but I think it's really because of the dysfunction going on in this organization is really, really bad. You look, the roster has gotten worse. They're not even that good this year when you look at their roster. Can they compete for a play-in when Zion comes back healthy? I think so. But are they a playoff team guaranteed a top six seed? No. You know, and you look at the coaching, this is a third head coach in three years now with Willie Green. You had uh, Alvin Gentry in 2019. You had Stan Van Gundy last season, and now you got Willie Green, who was a part of the Phoenix staff with Monty Williams last season that went to the finals. So there is some credibility going into this. But, you know, the Pelicans have a lot of dysfunction. And usually you see this from, you know, the Kings or stuff like that, the Knicks a few years ago. But the Pelicans have always been a sneaky team that nobody really talks about that have been dysfunctional for a while now. You know, this is a potential third guy that could leave. A third star, a franchise player. You look at Chris Paul, he requested a trade. Anthony Davis requested a trade. And now we got Zion Williamson who could potentially do the same in the next coming years. Things are not looking good. As for the season, it kicked off. They played a game against the Sixers and they lost. But, you know, you really look at things. Time is ticking really fast. And I've been saying this for the Pelicans for a little while now. Time is almost up. And the Pelicans don't want to lose a third franchise player to a trade request in the span of like 10, 11 years. So things are going to have to get better real soon 
before it all goes downhill in New Orleans with Zion Williamson. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be in the description. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.